Good day everyone, this is Teacher Nori and today we are going to talk about materials. Before we proceed, let us first review what is matter. We all know that matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. It is made up of atoms, which is the basic unit of matter, and molecules, which are atoms bound together to form substances. A substance is anything that is made up of matter. Materials are made up of substances that surround us. Therefore, anywhere you go, there are materials present. This is an illustration that shows how materials are formed. As you can see here, the smallest particles are atoms, which is the basic unit of matter. When atoms bind together, they form a molecule. Molecules are usually made up of two or more atoms, which may be different or the same. When molecules come together, they form substances, and substances forms materials. Materials can be grouped into many different categories, some of which are wood, metal, like gold, silver, and alloy. Alloy is a combination of two or more metals. Plastic, ceramics, which includes glass, bricks, clay, and cement. Fabrics and fibers, which can be natural or synthetic. Paper and composites. Composites are, ma are substances that is made up of two or more materials. Each group has its own characteristics, and each material under the group has its own characteristics as well, which makes it different and suitable for use for a specific purpose than the rest. Examples of different materials are glass, rubber, clay, paper, wood ceramics, fibers, rubber, bricks, steel, and fabrics. Let us check your understanding about materials. You need to write your answers in your handout. Number one, what are materials? Number two, are materials important in making things that we use? Why is that? And number three, what are the different kinds of materials? You, sh you can list three more groups aside from those given in your handouts and in this presentation. I hope you understood materials better. See you next time.